So once you have a freestand and handstand push-up, we can start to work different elements of it. Obviously, we can tidy the lineup and things like that. But we can also, we want to focus on the control and balance throughout the movement. So if I said to you, pause at any point, you could just hold and stop uh, and hold balance um, and not be using too much energy. And then either continue the movement or reverse the movement. So you could do a partial range at any point uh, and change direction and go back up, or you can go all the way down, pause at any point. Um, and just show control. So the better we become at that, the less energy we use in the handstand push-up, the more repetitions you can do, the more efficient you become. Uh, and then there is just a, like the conditioning factor of it. So training higher repetitions uh, is gonna condition the movement differently than just doing a one rep max all the time. So um, in my own training, I've been doing both. This is a video of the slowest handstand push-up I can do, both deficit and uh, just freestanding on the floor. So a deficit is when you're up on a raised surface and you go all the way down to the collarbone, touches the, the box or wherever you're handstanding on. That's seen as a full range handstand push-up. So how I am, so the left-hand side one is the full range handstand push-up, uh, collarbone to box, and the right hand is just on the floor, getting the head to touch and come back up again. So my goal with this is to get a very consistent tempo so the same uh, tempo on the way down as it is on the way back up. Uh, I didn't quite get that, but it's pretty close. Uh, and both around 40 seconds, um, you know, it's where you start and stop the video and say that's the, uh, the start and the finish of the movement. But it basically just shows that I have good control throughout the movement and can pause at any position. And then from a conditioning side, I've done 20 reps for time. Uh, of full range handstand push-ups. So that's the one on the left, collarbone to touch the box and then full lockout at the top, counted as a repetition. Uh, and then on the right hand side, that's the same thing, but 30 reps for time, um, head touching the floor and full lockout at the top. Um, so the left hand side one, I with the deficit handstand push-up, I'd done um, doubles all the way through. And the right hand one, so on the floor, I started with fours, I think, and then went to threes and then finished with a four. I might have done a couple of doubles uh, in the middle. So that's how basically I've been training it recently in terms of that just standard handstand push up. I'll also be doing the dead press, the 90 degree handstand push up, and things like that. Uh, Got to go, George is crying. Um, thumbs up subscribe any questions stick them in the comments um, i want to do some more tutorial videos so let me know what you want to see uh, and i'll speak to you soon gotta go baby crying